I can't remember the last time I used a product so unique that I just had to show it off. The reactions I've been getting out of people from the new Z20 has been nothing but priceless. I know what you're thinking, who or what in the world is Nubia? Honestly, I thought the exact same thing when they reached out asking if I was interested in checking out their new smartphone, the Z20. Of course, I looked them up. Turns out, they used to be owned by ZTE, but went independent in 2015. On paper, this phone looks amazing. We're talking pretty much high-end specs for a fraction of what the big guys are charging. But that's not what makes this phone special. On the front, you've got a 6.42 inch AMOLED screen and a very slight bezel at the top and bottom. But flip it around and BAM! What? That's another fully functional 5.1 inch screen on the back. When not on, it actually blends into the back glass extremely well. Besides dual screens, there's also two power buttons that both function as fingerprint sensors. So no matter which screen you're looking at, the lock or unlock experience is the same. It's also great since it doesn't matter if you're left or right-handed. I'm a case person and like most of you, that was my first concern. Thankfully, they actually provide you with a back screen protector and case in the box that actually still allows you to fully interact with the second display. They even punched a hole near the top so you can take calls from the back too. You have the option to manually switch between the displays by tapping a floating button or have it automatically switch based on how you're holding it. The secondary screen can be set to mirror the front display or the cooler option for dual screen multitasking. When you receive a notification, you can quickly flip to the second screen and it'll open up that notification. You can also send apps to the secondary display by using a three finger swipe. It'll stay there until you exit out of it. I'll be the first to admit, flipping your phone constantly isn't the most practical way to multitask especially if you're a klutz like me. I also ran into a lot of accidental touches as I was switching between the screens. Where the secondary screen makes the most sense is when you need to take a selfie. Since there's no camera on the front, to take a selfie, the camera prompts you to flip the phone around. It automatically activates the secondary display and now you're taking selfies with the wide and ultra wide cameras on the back. I gotta say, the quality is pretty darn good. You can bump the resolution up to 48 megapixels, but you lose the ultra wide angle option. Another cool use case is when you're taking pictures of others. Pressing this button turns on the back display, allowing your subject to see exactly what you see. This way, they can nail that pose and smile. The reactions I got when I showed this phone to my friends and family was hilarious. I got a lot of, whoa, what phone is that? It's definitely a conversation starter, for sure. Make no mistake about it, this is clearly a photography focused phone. The Z20 has triple cameras, a 48 megapixel wide, an 18 megapixel ultra wide, and an 8 megapixel telephoto, featuring three times optical zoom. I'll throw some samples up and you guys can be the judge of how good these cameras are. Oh, there's even a pro mode too, if you really want to dial in those settings for that perfect shot. Now that I think about it, since you're using the back cameras, this concept could make for a very good vlogging device. On the software front, it's running Android 9.0 Pi currently, so technically it's already an Android version behind, since Android 10 is out. Straight out the box, it's very clean with close to nothing but the essentials installed. Very pixel-like. I've been using the default launcher which is super bare bones. I'll probably throw on a third party launcher like Nova to jazz it up a bit. The only real issues that I've run into besides the accidental touches is with the always on display. Both can be used to display cool visuals when the screen is off, but for some reason my notifications don't show up on it, which sort of makes it pointless. The good news is that there is a notification LED though. 
The Z20 is such a cool phone and brings something new to the smartphone industry that seems to have slowed down in terms of innovation. If you're into tech and innovation, you seriously have to give Nubia some props for this. They might just have something here if they continue to refine it. Even though this might be a little too out there for a lot of people, I haven't had this much fun with a smartphone in a while.